morning and welcome back to Blessed Sacrament Cathedral for our Mass for Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. I want to remind you that we are live streaming our Masses on Facebook and all of them are on Facebook so that if you miss one you can go there and find it. Additionally, for those of you who do not use Facebook, please share with family and friends that we have put a YouTube link on our Blessed Sacrament Cathedral dot org uh, face, uh, website, and you can go there and find the Mass posted there to YouTube which gives us access to a broader audience. And so let us take a moment and put ourselves in the presence of God. And if you have a book, our opening song today is verses 1 and 2 of number 626 in the Gather hymnal. There's a wideness in God's mercy. Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt? with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. In all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise, Moreover, I know you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father, the one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe in his writings, how will you believe in my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. The book of Exodus today speaks of a dialogue between God and Moses. God is not happy. He says, Israel, I brought you out of Egypt. And I look today, and they've turned away from me and made a molten calf and are worshiping it and sacrificing to it and crying out. God is saying to Moses, we are a stiff-necked people. I was thinking about that term stiff-necked and what does it mean? It means we can't really easily turn around and see what's around us. I think in the season of Lent, that is an important activity. God is talking to Moses about the people of Israel, and we are, in fact, God's people. We, in fact, have a covenant with the Lord. And the season of Lent asks us to, in a very serious way, examine that covenant. Have we made a molten calf out of something else in our life? I hear so many people talking about this self-distancing and this isolation that we experience. And I was thinking, what are we going to want to do first when the floodgates are open and we're allowed to go out? 
I'm not going to answer that question for you. You have to answer it yourself. But I think if we would list maybe the top five things that we want to do, it will give us an idea of where our priorities are and challenge us to see if they are in line with the expectations of the covenant that we have made with God. Apart from anything that we're experiencing in our world, the season of Lent is still a time of spirituality and personal reflection and introspection. Jesus is basically saying in the gospel reading today, you can talk a good game. He says, you search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. He tells us, we'll accept human praise from just about anybody. But are we concerned about accepting praise from God, particularly at the end of our days? We have, in many ways, been tested in fire these last couple of weeks. And fire can be refining if it's used correctly. But it can do absolutely no good if it's used incorrectly. And we have the opportunity to use this fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit, to cleanse us and to refocus and redirect our priorities and our actions. You know, in these days, what we say and what we do can very much be testimony to the Lord as we turn from our own particular concerns to the cares and concerns of our family and of our friends and of our co-workers and even of total strangers. We give glory to God. We testify to what Jesus has asked of us. We truly make God our Lord. And so this day, I ask you, To reflect on your priorities and make sure that God is at the top of the list. As we continue our Lenten journey, we bring our needs to the Lord with trust and confidence. For all the church during this Lenten season, may the Lord increase in us hearts for sharing and self-denial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who serve either as elected or appointed authorities, May the God of wisdom bless them with the skills and gifts necessary to be true servants and to lead us in kindness and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all who are sick in our community, particularly those suffering from the coronavirus, may the healing cons consolation of Christ be on them and make them whole. And may those who care for them, all of our first responders, be safe and protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For all of us praying together, may the steadfast love and mercy of God draw us ever closer to him through the life and death of Jesus Christ, his Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, 
that they may come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray the intentions which you bring to this liturgy within your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as you once heard the prayers of your Son, Jesus Christ, hear now our prayers and petitions, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our, that we should give you thanks and praise, O God Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For through the human race, for though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and peoples seek to meet together. By working, by the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim.
Therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way on that same evening he took the chalice of blessing in his hands confessing your mercy and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. of your Son who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your love and with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit, let us offer each other across the way the sign of peace. Peace be with you. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. O God, protector of all who hope in you, Bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll do verse 3 of number 626. There's a wideness in God's mercy.
thank you once again for joining us for the daily liturgy. For those of you just joining us for the first time, we have new and improved graphics. So I'm asking you to text FAITH to the number on your screen right now, 724-305-3057, for the latest updates from the Diocese of Greensburg about upcoming Holy Week, as well as updates about our response to the COVID-19 virus. I also want to let you know that in addition to this streaming Facebook, we are making this liturgy available on our parish website, blessedsacramentcathedral.org. There's a connection to a YouTube channel where you can connect and be a part of this liturgy as well. Finally, you can go to dioceseofgreensburg.org and click on the giving tab and actually you can uh, give donations to your parish, your particular parish. We have a tab like that on our parish website so you can go directly there or if that's not going to work for you dioceseofgreensburg.org. So remember text FAITH to 724-305-3057 and to give dioceseofgreensburg.org. I just want to say, speaking on behalf of many pastors, as you know, our Sunday offerings have gone down considerably, and we still need to keep the lights on and pay the bills, so I would encourage you to continue your regular offertory. I know that we are in very tough times, but whatever you can give will be very helpful. God bless you all. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.